This is a noodle box. It's also what I use to put my camera onto when I'm filming my videos for you guys. This is a legit tripod. This is what I'm going to be using from now on to film my videos for you guys. This one is better. This one is much, much better. And this is also what I'm going to be using to film the Hacksaw Ridge video, which you guys are watching right now. So Hacksaw Ridge is directed by Mel Gibson and it is the true story of Desmond Doss, a soldier who won the US Medal of Honor without firing a single shot in battle. And I think the inspiration for Mel Gibson when it came to making this movie was a film that he starred in called Gallipoli. Now this was a smaller film that not many people have seen, but I think it's an extremely well made movie and he probably learned a lot from that movie and took a lot of inspiration from that movie when he was making Hacksaw Ridge. Now there are two types of war movies in my opinion. One is where you actually kind of see the battles, you know, like Saving Private Ryan, Apocalypse Now, Full Metal Jacket. And there's the ones where you see sort of the behind the scenes of the war, like Schindler's List or Inglorious Bastards. Hacksaw Ridge is a film that is kind of in between these two different types of war movies. And for that reason, it is probably one of my favorite war movies of all time. Mel Gibson has made some great movies in the past. Um, I loved Apocalypto and I loved Braveheart. And Hacksaw Ridge, in my opinion, might be almost as good, if not better, than Braveheart. Mel Gibson's direction in this movie is immaculate. And I'm very happy to see that he's been nominated for Best Director at the Oscars because he deserves it. Now let's talk a bit about Andrew Garfield in this movie. Andrew Garfield shows us in this movie that the social network was not a fluke. He is truly and genuinely a talented actor. This is the best performance of his career. Again, I haven't seen Silence, so I don't know how he was in that. But his performance as Desmond Dawes at Hacksaw Ridge was something else. It's one of the best performances I've seen in a while. And not only does he show us a different side to him that we haven't seen before, he also shows us a lot of vulnerability and uh, this week he is a soldier who doesn't want to take lives. He wants to save them and the army doesn't like this He refuses to use a gun and this results in a lot of controversy The army doesn't really want to have him around his fellow soldiers are beating him up And we are also shown his bravery and his courage that he you know He runs into battle without a gun and I mean if I ran into battle without a gun I'd be pretty scared. I can't believe that this is actually a true story. He saved 75 people Andrew Garfield's character is a very strong Christian. He has a lot of strong beliefs about God and all the rest of that. But his character never pushes the religion on anyone else. He's never sort of being like, you have to believe in this. But he's always keeping it to himself. He's never spreading the the, the, the religion, um, which is something you'd expect when going into a movie like this, which is really good. And Andrew Garfield isn't the only actor who gives a career high performance. Hugo Weaving, oh my God. Hugo Weaving, you know, we've seen him in loads of movies. He's a great actor. Um, he's Elrond in The Lord of the Rings, he's um, uh, Agent Smith in The Matrix, he's Red Skull from Captain America. Hugo Weaving in Hacksaw Ridge gives a career-high performance. It's probably his best performance since V for Vendetta. Um, there's so much pain and trauma behind this character, and he doesn't really understand why his sons are going into battle, uh, are signing up to fight, when he's seen, he's fought in World War One, and he's seen all the horrors of war, and when his sons go to enlist, you can just see all the pain inside of him. Now this movie also has Sam Worthington and Luke Bracey, and this movie gives us amazing performances from Sam Worthington and Luke Bracey, which comes as a shock to me because it's Sam Worthington and Luke Bracey. They're amazing in this movie. But one of my favorite performances in this movie and someone who I personally think should be nominated for Best Supporting Actor, but he wasn't, is Vince Vaughn. In past years, Vince Vaughn has shown us that he's a kind of like the, you know, the comedic actor. And let's not forget that Vince Vaughn's career started with serious dramatic roles. And there's this one scene which Vince Vaughn is in, which is very similar to this scene from Full Metal Jacket, and I can say without a doubt that this movie would have been pretty different without this scene. This scene is pretty important because not only does it give us a break from all the stress 
and all the serious depression of this movie. It's hilarious. My entire theatre was just bursting out laughing. Vince Vaughn gives some pretty savage insults, but this movie doesn't just use him as the comic relief. Vince Vaughn has a lot of serious moments in this film that actually show us he's actually genuinely capable of being a really, really genuinely good actor. Now one of the things that I love most about this movie, which I haven't talked about yet, is the fact that not only do we get a really good battle scene, which I'll get into later, but it actually shows us the characters when they're not in battle. This is something that contributes so much to the movie because a lot of war movies nowadays, they don't really show us the characters as human beings. They don't really show us how they live their lives and their relationships and their families. Pretty much the first half of this movie is dedicated to humanizing Andrew Garfield's character and showing essentially what his life is like before he goes into the war. It shows the woman that he wants to marry played amazingly by Teresa Palmer and you get to see their relationship and you get to see Andrew Garfield's relationship with his father, his mother, his brother with all the soldiers he's fighting with so that when the actual fighting happens and people die, I mean of course it's a war movie some of the characters are gonna die, spoiler alert when that happens there's a lot more weight to it and it actually hits you a lot harder which brings me to the battle scenes now Saving Private Ryan has been praised by the US Army as a movie that genuinely depicts um, war accurately. The action scenes, the battle scenes in Hacksaw Ridge are in my opinion actually better than the ones in Saving Private Ryan, right? Now yes, it is a bit controversial that I'm saying that, but this is my review, this is my opinion. And the action scenes in this movie are brutal, they are realistic. And you can see that Mel Gibson isn't holding back when it comes to directing action scenes because these are some of the most realistic, some of the most brutal and violent action scenes I've ever seen. Um, it's, it's actually like a horror movie, essentially. There are a lot of fucked up things that happen in these action scenes. Mel Gibson never overuses the violence and never uses it as a, a method for style over substance. He's always using the uh, amount of violence in this movie to carry the story forward and to show the realisticness of war which is just men tearing each other apart and I've seen some reviews that say that the action scenes kind of contradict the movie because the whole movie is set essentially about a soldier who doesn't want to fight it actually is a really good contrast because with all this horrible stuff happening we see this one guy, this really skinny guy just runs headfirst into battle and saves 75 people that's pretty impressive and I can't believe that this is actually a true story because it is. You know, that something like this actually happened just amazes me so much because a lot of true stories nowadays are kind of like about, you know, bad things. People that do bad things in, you know, like Wolf of Wall Street or American Hustle or Matthew McConaughey's upcoming movie Gold, which is essentially showing us people doing bad things. This movie is essentially a true story about a hero, um, which is something we don't see very often. And to be honest with you, I couldn't really find a flaw with this movie at all. Which is why Hacksaw Ridge gets an A+. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for my Hidden Figures review coming out very soon. Another uh, Best Picture nominee. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.